Okay, like I promised, I'm going to show you how to clean your boots to nourish the leather. All right. These are an old pair of road racing boots I've had for since 1973. All right. I've done this one. Did I? Yeah, I did this one. Uh, I don't want to uh, polish it and make it look new. I don't want to uh, erase the boot's history. I just want to nourish the leather and clean it. That's what they look like after uh, quite a few crashes and riding in the rain, racing in the rain. And... Uh, uh, I had the heel knocked off once in a crash. Uh, and I had them resold, and I even broke the shank, the steel shank in there once. But uh, anyway, I did this one earlier. And it's not going to look like a new boot. I'm just going to show you how you do it. You get some saddle soap. It comes in a tin. You put some water on the saddle soap, you take the brush and you make some foam. Okay, you zip the boot up. I do anyway. So you can put your arm in the boot. And it has some stability. All right. You take the foam and you start foaming it up. I would take this strap off, but I don't want to mess with the buckle. But anyway, clean it. And don't press hard with the brush. The tips of the bristles are what do the work, not the smooth sides. The tips, just like brushing your teeth, don't brush hard. It's the tips of the brush that do the work. This is uh, putting all the oils and waxes, and it's nourishing the leather. I even do the zipper. It uh, lubricates the zipper. Don't be afraid to lather it up. Leather is some tough stuff. I've actually thrown motorcycle leather jackets uh, through a wash cycle in the washing machine. Anyway, I don't want to go overboard here. I just want to demonstrate how you do it. Let the tips of the brush do the work. You don't have to press hard. That looks a little weird because I sewed this zipper in by hand uh, and I couldn't uh, get it quite done there. All right, and you get a one of your old tiles. I have a bunch of old tiles that I just use for things like this, like polishing and waxing cars and cleaning boots or whatever. And you wipe it off, polish it up. Let me move this. I'm not a very good cameraman. Like I said, I don't want to polish these and make them look brand new because uh, to me that would be like touching up the Mona Lisa. You know, you're erasing its history. 
We've been through a lot together. That's it. It's done. I'll let that dry in the sun a little bit. But uh, that's how you use uh, saddle soap on a pair of motorcycle boots. And that's how you get them to last for uh, 30 or 40 years. I've done these boots and uh, they feel nice and soft. These are the, the best boots I have. I have uh, quite a few pair of boots and uh, these boots here. These are, there's another company, I don't know if it's affiliated with Bates of California, but Bates of California that makes uh, motorcycle leathers, leather jackets, and uh, leather boots. They, uh, they are still in business. Now, I don't know about the foreign made Bates boots, but uh, these are made, they're still made in the United States. They're a little expensive. They always were, but uh, I, these are my favorites. These, and I have a pair of German-made fry boots. These have quite a few miles on them, too. I like that they have white leather inside that uh, when you sweat, uh, doesn't turn your socks and everything black. But these are fries, F-R-Y-E. I have never had to do any repairs on these. And the soles are almost worn out. You want a nice soft sole, just like a car tire. Uh, these cleats don't give you traction. The street digging into the tire, into the uh, sole, is what gives you your traction. Dirt bike tires dig into the dirt. Street bike tires, the street digs into them. And you want a soft sole. You don't want a hard plastic sole on your boot, especially when you stop at a red light. That's where the oil is laying, where the trucks drip their hydraulic fluid and their antifreeze and their gear lube and their diesel fuel. And if you ride, don't ride in the center of the lane and pull up to a light because that's where the cars never touch. And you pull up there and you're riding in the center of the lane, you're riding where all of the oil and nails may be that bounce off of construction workers' pickup trucks that never get picked up by the cars. And if it rains, that is that can be very slippery. And uh, so uh, when you go to put your foot down at a red light or a stop sign, you want the street to dig into the boots. So these are pretty soft. The, uh, you know, you want it to be able to adhere, dig in. And that's why they wore out. That They did their job. Anyway, that's how I clean boots.